Hello everyone, welcome to day 13 of the Remember Lead Code Challenge and today's question is maximum number of balloons. In this question, we are given an input string text. We need to tell how many instances of word balloon can be formed out of this input string text. We need to return its count. There is a constraint that is given in the question. You can use each character in the input string at most once. That means if you have contributed a particular character to a particular instance of balloon, you can't reuse it. So without much ado, let's try and look at the PPT. Although I feel you guys won't be needing it. It's a pretty simple and straightforward question. But for the sake of consistency, I'm making this video for you. Maximum number of balloons, lead code 1189. This is an easy question on lead code and these types of question are also asked in interviews at times. They act as a preliminary clearing, clearing round for the interviewer. If a person is able to uh, do well in this round, then only he will invest on the other question. So these are also of a lot of importance. Here, the input string that is given to us is L O O N B A L X B A L L P O O N. Also, we need to count the number of instances of word balloon that can be formed. So how many different characters are there in this word balloon? It is B A L O N. Also, there is a small trick to it. Each word of balloon has two letters of L. The frequency should be two for L and that again two for O while for others it, it can be one. So let's start the iteration. What we are going to do, we'll count the frequency of all characters that are present in the input string. So how many times B is present? One, two. So I'll write two here. How many times A is present? Two times. This and this. So I'll write two here. How many times L is present? One, two, three and four. So I'll write four here. Next I have O. How many times O is present? One, two, three, four. So I'll write four here. How many times n is present? n is present one time. This is the second time. So I'll write two here. So how will I conclude now? There is a factor of two for L and that of O that for every two instances of L, one string of balloon can be formed. So what we should do? We should divide the frequency of L that we have calculated so far by two so as to normalize it. Again, similarly, we will divide the frequency of O by 2 so as to normalize it. Now we'll start the iteration across the frequency array and we'll pick the one which has the minimum value. So here in this case, all the elements have the same value which is 2. So the minimum one will be again 2 in this case. However, there could be cases where uh, the minimum value is something else, 1 or 0, then uh, that will become our answer. So the answer for this case is two and you just need to find out the minimum one. I hope you got the context. Without much ado, let's look at the coding section. Firstly, I create a frequency array of size 26. I iterate over each character of the input string text and I update the frequency array. Next, I go ahead and create the new array for the balloon string and balloon has how many how many different characters? B, A, L, O, N. So over these, characters I need to iterate and find out the minimum value. I have taken a, another variable that will store my answer minimum frequency initialized to the maximum value of integer. I start the iteration and in case I find out that the current element happens to be L or O, I reduce the frequency by a factor of two. Then I go ahead and pick uh, the minimum frequency out of the complete input array. Once I'm done with this loop, I compare it with the maximum value. If it still happens to be the maximum value, that means uh, the answer does not exist and I simply return zero. Otherwise, I return the minimum frequency that was present in the frequency array. The time complexity for this approach is the length of the input string and the space complexity is constant because we are using a fixed set of array for calculating the frequency. I hope you enjoyed today's session. If you did, Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it and have a great day ahead. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question on lead code.
till then good bye and guys uh, there's something interesting that is coming up uh, you will see that video very soon